Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today uh, will see some uh, neat tricks that we can use but use them only if you must is uh, a recommendation because these uh, IE hacks are not future proof so uh, exercise your own uh, discretion while using them and uh, so let's talk about IE now I, I know the uh, hate group uh, the IE hate group is uh, expanding uh, according to a survey conducted uh, some time ago 89% of the uh, internet users hate IE um, and this is especially true of uh, us web developers because we know that it's actually a a big thorn in the flesh it's a pain in the neck no doubt about that uh, it makes uh, it very difficult for us to uh, have a website that's compatible across uh, all browsers and especially IE and especially you know the older versions of IE so in my earlier tutorials I've talked about conditional uh, style sheets for IE only uh, they are also called conditional statements and I've also talked about conditional classes uh, only for IE and in this tutorial we'll talk about uh, properties uh, that work only in IE through uh, IE hacks right so let's see uh, how this can be done but again since they are not uh, future proof uh, use with caution right okay now here's a little bit of uh, uh, HTML and CSS in front of you I've used the HTML5 doc type out here the opening closing uh, HTML tag the opening closing head tag out here the title tag out here and the opening and the closing style tags out here with the type attribute one single rule uh, that targets the body tag or the body element and it actually says the background color lavender which you can clearly see out here and of course this works in all the browsers <coughs> but uh, I'm gonna show you how to uh, have this property background color take up a different color in IE and if we can do that then obviously uh, tomorrow if we encounter a little bit of you know uh, a, a property that's not quite working in IE we will uh, then be able to tackle it okay let me show you something let me just paste uh, one line of code out here after line number nine in fact after line number nine which reads like this okay now I've, I've written a line that says uh, background color corn silk and then forward slash 9 now what this means is uh, instead of showing the color lavender now it'll uh, show the color corn silk in versions IE 9 and below uh, let's test it out let's save it first and check it up in Google Chrome just give me a sec okay uh, in fact I needed to check in IE pardon me okay there you go so as uh, you can clearly see this uh, is the color corn silk and we I have opened up the uh, you know the web page in IE9 let me drop the version to let's go to the developer tools and drop the version to IE8 IE7 so in all the, uh, I've also checked it in uh, IE6 through uh, IE tester that I that I have and it uh, you know gives us the same result so quite clearly this is how you will do the IE hack for versions IE 9 and below okay <coughs> now let me change it a little bit what if 
I want to target IE8. So um, I just made a little change out here. Papaya whip is the color that I want to see, and I want to see it in IE8. This targets only IE8 people. Let's test it out. So there you go. Save changes. Okay, it's it's showing up uh, lavender at the moment simply because uh, we are in IE9. Let me drop the version by going to Developer Tools and uh, let's go to IE8. As you can see, uh, clearly it's it's uh, this color uh, is papaya with people very close to the color um, console that you saw a while ago. But this is not console. This is papaya whip. Let's test out IE7. And we go back to Lavender. Cool. <coughs> so that's IE8 only hack. Right. Now let me replace this one single line with give me a sec. Just coming up. There. Now you see an asterisk written uh, before the property and uh, background color. I would want to see it as burly wood in all IE, uh, all versions of IE 7 and below and this is the way you'll actually do it. So let me just save it up first. Okay, bring up IE. Right. Okay. And just let me, uh, I'm already in version uh, 7, let me just refresh the page and quite clearly uh, you can see out here that uh, the background color is burly wood. I, I can't test IE8 out here through the developer tools but I've already done that in the IE tester which confirms the change was done properly. Cool. Now let me make one more change out here. An IE6 only hack. And right there you go this is the IE6 only hack. Let me just save the file up. And again, uh, this is one property that I can check only in IE6, which I don't have at the moment. But again, uh, I've already done. I've already. I'm through with the checking in IE tester. And uh, just to save time, I don't want to bring it up right now. Uh, be rest assured that uh, this property works uh, too. But again, uh, there are uh, uh, suggestions against these kind of uh, single property hacks. Uh, and uh, it's been said that since they are not future proof, uh, use your own discretion, use uh, some caution while using them. All right, since they are not uh, future proof. Right. So people, I hope uh, you enjoyed this tutorial and let me remind you again, I have two more tutorials. One on conditional uh, class uh, style sheets only for IE, also called conditional statements and one on conditional classes only for IE. So once you know how to uh, make your web page appear a little differently in IE, obviously if uh, in future there are uh, issues with IE with certain properties you'll know how to tackle them that was the whole point that I wanted to drive so people I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and also he uh, hope that you'll keep coming back for more you have a good day bye bye peace